All right, guys, got the first head gasket on. You got the lifters already mounted in, all that. He's working on the other side. Just putting the retaining bolts in for the keeper. You're gonna get the heads on. Um, get them torqued down. Finish that up tonight, and then in the morning we'll take care of everything else. Um, you saw us earlier do the rotating assembly. So, timing gears, all that on. I got my timing cover. Got my timing cover getting cleaned up, all that. So in the morning we'll throw the timing cover on, um, the oil pan, the rear main cover, but we need the heads on so we can use the engine hoist to lift it off and take care of all that. And then we'll go ahead once all that's done, put the old valve covers from the 550 on and then paint the motor, uh, probably the Ford Blue. I'm pretty keen on that old Ford Blue like they had on their 309 uh 302s and all that so get this going i got a time lapse going above so you see that As you saw, that it was a three-step torque process of 85, or I'm sorry, my bad, 65, 85, and a final pass of 95 as a second sequence. Um, I got, I'll put up a little screenshot right here for you, so you can see the difference. Um, if you want to pause the video, take a look at the torque specs for this. It shows the old body style, new body style, and if you're running ARP studs on what they recommend doing, all in one. It's a really good, helpful. Um, page that I found so I'm passing it on to you guys so you can figure it out um, basically we got the heads on um, intake valve or I'm sorry fuel injectors I'm, I'm tired fuel injectors I'm gonna make another video on how I went about rebuilding those um, the heads got sent out and I had the the seals replaced at the same time as when I got the heads cleaned up and the block cleaned up so both sides are on so the plan is in the morning, run to the hardware store or Ace or Harbor Freight and get a vice so that way I can um, finish up the stuff that I need to do um, for the injectors and all that. That'll be another video for you guys. And then um, get the paint so I can paint the, the block. And then once that's all said and done, get everything put back together made it with the transmission throw it in the truck right there and be off we go so i'm gonna end off this video right here and i'll see you guys next time don't forget to like and subscribe and share if you feel like this is helpful for somebody if you're just stumbling upon my channel welcome subscribe but as always peace